Did you know that one in five people lies regularly? Some, however, take deception to a whole new level. Whether it's weaving tall tales, playing the victim, or uttering statements that don't quite add up, chances are you might be dealing with a pathological liar. Join us as we unveil the 11 signs to spot them and explore effective strategies to handle this challenging behavior. Welcome back to our channel, your trusted source for insightful content that empowers you to live your best life. In today's deep dive, we're decoding the intricate world of pathological liars. From the subtle signs to practical tips for dealing with them, this video is your guide to navigating the complex dynamics of deception. Let's jump right in. Ever wondered if someone in your life is spinning a web of lies? Stick around as we decode the subtle signs and explore the do's and don'ts of dealing with these master storytellers. A pathological liar is an individual who engages in compulsive lying, often without an apparent motive. Unlike non-pathological lying, where individuals may lie to achieve a specific goal or avoid punishment, pathological lying is characterized by a persistent and uncontrolled pattern of deceit. Pathological lying can have significant consequences for both the liar and those around them. The impact on relationships can be profound, as trust is eroded and emotional connections are strained. Individuals dealing with pathological liars may experience confusion, frustration, and emotional exhaustion due to the constant deception. Understanding the signs and consequences of pathological lying is essential for anyone navigating relationships with individuals exhibiting this behavior. It allows for a more informed and compassionate approach to dealing with the challenges posed by pathological liars. So, how do you spot a pathological liar? Here are 11 sneaky signs that might raise an eyebrow. Number 1. The Chameleon Charmer – Adapting Personalities for Each Person Pathological liars effortlessly adapt their personalities, fitting in with whoever they're talking to. It's like they're playing a different character in each scene. They go to great lengths to please everyone, creating a facade that aligns with each person's preferences. Ever had a colleague who's a sports fanatic one minute and transforms into an art connoisseur the next? Imagine the incredible talent of blending in, like a social chameleon changing colors. Number 2. Victim Mentality Playing the victim with fabricated stories. Got a friend who turns every minor setback into a grand saga of mistreatment? Pathological liars adopt a perpetual victim role, fabricating stories of victimization to garner sympathy from others. They're always the victims, spinning tales of woe and misfortune to garner sympathy and attention. But be wary, these stories might be more fiction than fact. Number 3. Words versus Actions inconsistencies between promises and deeds. Ever known someone promising unwavering commitment but caught in actions that say otherwise? Imagine a partner pledging fidelity but dancing on the shores of betrayal. It's a narrative of contradictions, leaving you questioning the authenticity of their spoken vows. There is a stark misalignment between the words spoken by pathological liars and their actual behaviors. Inconsistencies abound in what they say and what they do. Their words and actions rarely line up. They might promise the world but deliver nothing, leaving you wondering if they ever meant what they said. Number 4. Emotional Black Hole – Draining Energy with Negativity and Drama Do you have a family member who perpetually complains, creating an environment of constant stress and sucking the life out of those around them with ceaseless negativity? It's like a drama series you never signed up for, leaving you emotionally spent. These individuals emotionally exhaust those around them and drain the energy out of a room with their negativity and drama. It's like being stuck on a never-ending emotional roller coaster. Number 5. Cornered Critter – Defensive Reactions When Caught in a Lie Ever caught a friend red-handed in a lie, then suddenly went defensive and turned to play the blame game? Well, that is how pathological liars are. When caught in a lie, they lash out and get defensive, they deflect blame shift and claw their way out of accountability. It's a spectacle of evasion, turning the truth into a battleground to regain control and twist the narrative to their advantage. Number 6. Tangled Webs – Complicated and Tricky Lies Let me tell you about a friend I had who perfectly exhibited this behavior. This person would constantly brag about their successful business ventures. He'd describe million-dollar deals and international collaborations, 
painting a picture of entrepreneurial grandeur. But when you dug deeper, the details never quite added up. The supposed clients were unreachable, and the grand office turned out to be a tiny shared workspace. It was a tangled web of fabricated achievements. Pathological liars don't just tell regular lies. They create intricate webs of deceit that get more complex with every telling. It's a maze of falsehoods, leaving you lost in their fictional world. It's like trying to untangle a knotted ball of yarn. This goes way beyond the occasional fib or exaggeration. They craft detailed and complex tales, making it tough for others to see through the deception. Number 7. Fake Apologies, Not So Sorry Apologies Imagine having a partner who gets caught doing something deceitful. They offer an apology, but without truly meaning it. There's no real effort to change their behavior or take responsibility for the consequences. It's like they're using the apology as a clever way to smooth things over without actually committing to making a change. Pathological liars don't apologize from the heart. Their apologies lack sincerity and are not genuine expressions of remorse or intention to change their ways. They're just tools to get out of trouble and get what they want. These apologies are calculated moves to get out of a tricky situation without admitting any wrongdoing. Number 8. Guilt Trip Masters – Emotional Manipulators I had a friend who was skilled at emotional manipulation. He constantly portrayed himself as going through tough times, tugging at the sympathy of others to obtain favors or assistance. He leveraged guilt to manipulate and control the emotions of everyone in his social circle. Pathological liars are experts at playing the guilt card, using your empathy to manipulate you into doing what they want. They'll exaggerate their own hardships or paint themselves as victims to make people feel sorry for them, pulling on heartstrings and leaving you entangled in their emotional web while accomplishing their objectives. Number 9. Fast and Furious – Speedy Trust Builders Recently, my friend went to a party and met someone who quickly gained trust by being super affectionate and promising a future together. This person gave compliments, sweet gestures, and even thoughtful gifts, making my friend feel really close in no time. To make my friend trust them even faster, this person talked a lot about shared interests and acted like they had the same values. He also introduced my friend to his circle of friends really quickly, saying how fast their connection was growing. My friend got caught up in this speedy romance and felt safe. But as time passed, my friend noticed things didn't add up. The promises and stories started falling apart, showing that everything was a trick to build trust quickly. It turns out that this person was skilled at using fast affection and promises, trapping people in relationships built on lies. Pathological liars quickly dive into relationships, showering others with affection and making promises to gain trust in record time. It's like they're trying to create a strong connection before anyone notices the holes in their stories and has a chance to see through their facade. Number 10. Motiveless Lies, Pointless Deceptions Imagine a co-worker. Let's call him Alex. Alex is a master storyteller, crafting narratives that defy logic tales about the mundane, leaving everyone puzzled. These purposeless stories, like missing puzzle pieces, take you on a journey through the trivial aspects of Alex's life, from impassioned breakfast descriptions to thrilling daily commute adventures. It resembles a plotless movie that prompts the question, but oh, what's the point? Now, the intriguing part is that there's no apparent reason for Alex's ongoing dishonesty. His tales lack motive, making them a real head-scratcher for the rest of the team. The lies told by pathological liars often serve no clear purpose or benefit. They lie about even the most trivial things for no apparent reason. It's as if they can't help themselves, even when the lie has no benefit. Number 11. Dramatic Details – Over-the-top Storytelling Imagine a family member describing a simple, ordinary event and turning it into an epic tale throwing in intricate and unlikely details. This is dramatic details, where stories get an extra dose of extravagance. This penchant for dramatic details is a unique aspect of pathological lying, a performance of exaggeration, grabbing attention but missing a connection to reality. Pathological liars love to make their stories sound more exciting by adding elaborate and unnecessary details. Sometimes, they believe their own exaggerated versions. 
These stories resemble Hollywood screenplays, filled with unnecessary drama and embellishments, sometimes even convincing the storyteller themselves of their own exaggerated versions. So, we've unpacked 11 red flags for spotting pathological liars. Identifying these signs provides a foundation for understanding and recognizing the complex behaviors associated with pathological lying. By being aware of these patterns, individuals can navigate relationships with a heightened awareness of potential deceit and take appropriate measures to protect themselves from manipulation and emotional harm. Knowledge is your first line of defense. Dealing with a pathological liar is no walk in the park, it can be emotionally draining and confusing. Here are some tips. Maintain your reality. Trust your gut and observations. Don't get sucked into their web of deceit. Set boundaries. Decide what you're willing to tolerate and enforce those limits. Sometimes, distancing yourself might be necessary. Focus on actions, not words. Watch their behavior, not just their words. Body language can be more revealing than spoken promises. And seek support. Talk to trusted friends, family, or even a therapist for guidance. Whether you're directly affected or supporting someone who is, remember self-care is essential. Seek professional guidance when needed. We are not psychological professionals, and if you or someone you know is experiencing challenges related to pathological lying, consulting with a mental health expert is the best course of action. In conclusion, our aim is to provide valuable insights to enhance your awareness and well-being. Have you encountered someone like this? Share your experiences and insights in the comments below. Let's continue the conversation and support one another. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Sharing is caring, so spread the love by sharing this video with your friends. Your support means the world to us. Remember, these are just red flags. Not everyone who exhibits a few of these signs is a pathological liar. If you're noticing a pattern, be cautious and protect yourself. Stay informed, stay empowered. Until next time, take care. And thank you for watching.